Hi everyone, this is Irina from Heal and Learn. How have you been doing? Thank you for pressing the follow button, the subscribe button, because we reached uh, 1,000 subscribers last week. So thank you very much for your trust. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because it means a lot to us, everybody on Heal and Learn. Um, every week we publish videos on all kinds of subjects, including astrology, weight management, mindset, the silver method, um, nutrition, spirituality, whatnot. So do stick to us. All right, so today's topic is um, how to curb anxiety. And the reason I chose to, to talk about anxiety is that a lot of people have been experiencing it around the eclipses. Um, and it's during to the, uh, due to the hard configurations in the sky the whole year, it's a whole year of intense anxiety. So people need to know how to cope with it. In the end, you stop your whole life. It's been stopped externally anyhow, but you know what matters is your internal life. So if you're completely blocked, you're not alive. So we want you to be alive. All right, so how do you curb anxiety? Uh, if you remember the previous video, if you've watched it, and if you haven't, I'll put the link below. We talked about the three finger technique when uh, you can encode yourself to put yourself immediately in alpha state when you put your three fingers together. Um, and this can be used for multitude of purposes as I explained in the video. Uh, and one of them that probably I haven't mentioned is to deal with anxiety. Because the moment you put your three fingers together and you're already encoded to enter alpha state when you put your three fingers together, you immediately go in alpha state. And this means that even if you don't use any other methodology, any other tool, if you've effective, uh, effectively managed to encode yourself, you will curb your anxiety. So please refer again to the video uh, of last week and see how exactly it's done. Uh, and you know, if I haven't explained it well, <clears throat> feel free to drop me an email or to write a comment below. But I wanted to also um, talk about another reason why you may feel anxiety. Because anxiety is not based on something that has already happened. Usually it's, uh, it's based on anticipation of what could happen. You know, on, on emotions of something that don't, doesn't exist. So it's really um, an outlook, but it's, it's, it's not a logically driven reason of why, you're, why you have anxiety. It's something that is subtle. If you go to the doctor, they will tell you, yes, your anxiety is due to a chemical imbalance or to this and that or to a D12 deficiency or whatever. So depending on the specialist that you go to, there's always an explanation. An explanation to your disease can be on an emotional level, on a physical level, on a spiritual level even. And this is the highest level where you see diseases and emotional stresses even before they manifest in your life. You see them usually in the ethereal body three to four days before, it, before they appear on your physical body. If you, if you have a virus infection, it will appear, you'll be able to see if, if you use the silver method, for example, you can see an influence already in the ethereal body three, four days in advance. So when it comes to anxiety, um, very often anxiety is caused by an external energy. It could be caused by somebody else who gave you a bad eye or who gave you um, just an emotional discomfort or they purposefully sent you negative energy. It could be also caused by entities. Um, I'm not going to go in detail of what entities are. Please research it on your own. But it could be some subtle energies that are all around us that pester us. So very often when I go in Silva and I, when I see somebody with anxiety or somebody who's um, in depression, you can see certain energies circling or being already inside of this person. But you can get them out be it when you work on yourself or when you work on somebody else. So this talk is going a bit, uh, a bit more into the mystical and esoteric realm rather than the purely logical silver method way as I've explained it until now. But allow me please for once to go a bit more spiritual and esoteric in these topics. 
So when you see somebody in depression or in anxiety, what you do is you imagine the person in front of you while you're in alpha state and you check whether there's another entity. You look closely. You can call up a counsel of yours, somebody to advise you and give you a different perspective, a second point of view. So if you're a Christian, you can call in Jesus Christ. If you're a Muslim, you can call in um, Allah directly even. You, whatever your belief is, or you can call in Buddha, um, or you can call a physical person that you believe have, has um, um, high sensitivity and knowledge about these things, and their consciousness can help you identify what exactly is wrong with your patient, let's call them patient or client. If you're working on yourself, you just imagine yourself on the other side of the mirror, as if you're looking yourself in a mirror. Uh, in a mirror. Just a second. All right, so what you do then is you can check in, in their crown chakra, you put your ethereal arm in their crown chakra and you can check whether there's some presence there. Usually you will, you will feel it immediately. There's usually some sort of a um, dark, weak energy. So you should know that there's nothing to be scared about. These are weak energies compared to what you are. You're a carrier of divine energy and these energies are also divine energies, but they are much weaker. They're there to challenge us a little bit to grow. So if you want to grow faster, you have to get rid of them because they keep presenting um, obstacles after obstacle after obstacle. You don't want them in, the, in your life. So what you do is you just pull them out and you throw them in the distance or you tie them in a knot with your mind. You can actually physically make a knot with your hands and you can give them to your counsel or to your guides or to whomever you've asked to support you in this process to take them away, maybe even outside of the planet and to throw them away. So this is how you deal with entities. I know this is a bit simplified possibly and I'm not an exorcist, so I'm not talking about um, serious obsessions here but this is something that um, whenever you see people in a mild depression or in anxiety this is the first attack on their on the spiritual level so this is how you can help people uh, if you don't want to make your hands dirty in a way um, I mean you can't make your hands dirty because if you have taken my course, the other 96%, you know that every time you enter silver, you protect yourself or you ask for protection. And even if you don't, um, there, there are still energies that don't interact directly. It's, uh, it's like you're working on the, on, the, on the projection of something. So imagine there, there are even theories out there that our reality is like a CD and on this CD, or it's not a CD, it's an MP4 disc. So on, from this MP4 disc, you have all the reality being projected. So you see it, so you're working directly on the disc, but there's no interaction, so to say, between you and the other people. And so what I wanted to emphasize as well is that everything that you're doing in whatever method you, you're using, whether you're drumming in a shamanic way to get rid of evil spirit whether you're using the silver method whether you're even tapping or using reiki because you can use a multitude of methods to deal with your anxiety on on various levels not necessarily on a spiritual level uh, because let me give you an example if you if the, the food that you intake also puts you at a certain vibration so if you intake food that is really low vibration, you will attract more of these entities. So hence, the circle will close and you will have more anxiety and more depression. So you really have to take high vibrational food if you want to keep yourself clean. All right, but the number one thing is, and it is very important, and here I'd like to also recommend the book that I read, which is called The, the Magic of Believing. It talks about changing your reality solely on the basis of your belief. So use your belief and ask the, the divine entity that you believe in to help you. Prayer and asking God, creator, 
is the fastest way to solve your problem of anxiety and depression. But if you want to help the process, use the three finger technique or go in alpha and get rid of these entities yourself. Tie them in a knot and throw them away. Thanks for listening. Um, your comments are welcome. Check out all the experts on healandlearn.com. We have Heidi Greger coming up with a course on the 19th of July. Uh, PIPP, Power Immune, uh, Immune Power Program. So this will be great. The first session is free. Um, use the opportunity and si sign up. Check it out. If you enjoy it, you can continue. Thanks a lot. See you next week.